Ever since I was a small child, I was involved with farming operations and I enjoyed it and I didn't leave yet. One of the challenges of a multi-generational farm is when you try to make some changes and stuff like that, you got the older generation looking over your shoulder and being very critical. I think the older generation has to be somewhat like my dad and be open-minded. When I think of sustainable, I think chair that's got three legs on. You know, one leg is financial, one is environmental, and the other leg would be community. Cows and dairy farms and the urban environment can be good neighbors. It all boils down to good management. Mark is a good neighbor because he's very environmentally oriented. His composting operation has eliminated the farm odor that so many people object to. Cows have their own unique personalities. Obviously we have to have top of the line nutrition, we have to have comfort and all these other things, but they'll perform just a little bit better for you if they know they're loved and they're appreciated, just like children. Since 1988, we've bedded our dairy herd exclusively with shredded newspaper. And this provides a very comfortable, very healthy environment for the cows to lay on. We've got it exclusively through fundraisers from nonprofit organizations. It becomes a very nice fundraiser for them and a nice consistent bedding supply for us. By taking some very simple steps, we can turn what could be a potential negative, the odor concerns, farm equipment on the road, into a positive. Not only is it a positive from producing a value-added product for the community, but people from the urban environment come out to buy the compost. They get an education about the dairy industry. They learn where their food comes from. They get a chance to ask the farmer. We reduce all of our soil and nutrient losses by a way of erosion by over 75%. We reduced our fuel consumption by over nine gallons of diesel fuel burned per acre since we made these changes. You truly measure your success by your reputation and what the people think of you and the way you do business. What Mark has done is he's looked at a situation, he's looked at the concerns and really said, how can I solve those? They've really assembled a team of experts that's helped them become more sustainable. That's something that other farms can learn from.